So we have an array of data like this, horse, turtle, animals. So if we want to render this in HTML, like we would have to grab the items that it has, and we would then put them, wrap it in LIs, I guess, like this. We would put an LI surrounding them, surrounding it like this. Then we will close each of those LIs like this. And then, oh, that one didn't paste. So let's paste it here. And then we have to join them all without commas. And I forgot to close this one as well. So there it is, it is joined. Now it becomes one big string of HTML. And then we can grab this string and put it inside any DOM element by saying document.element uh, by ID or document.quitiselector and then dot inner HTML. Something like that, right? And then we, we would have to say document.quitiselector. We can select any any element from the console and let's say that the element with the ID hello and then we apply that inner HTML to that element. If you want to do it without H or with with React or without React, actually, in both cases, you would have to use a map function. So, because what I did here, when I was when I was converting every element into the allies, like this is still an array. This is still an array. Const, let's call it animals2. Animals2 and animals1 are very similar to each other. They have, they're have they very similar to each other. Like the only difference that they have is that the first one is an array of strings where you have animals and in the second one you have the same animals but with wrap it in an LI basically. So in that process of converting an array from one thing to another but with the same items but just transformed that is called mapping. So you're basically mapping you're mapping these elements here, like the horse with the horse, then the turtle, they're mapping it with the turtle, the element, the elephant with the elephant, and the monkey with the monkey. And for that, we use something that is called the map operator or the map function that comes with arrays. So I can say, to accomplish that, I, I can say something like const const animals2 it's equal to animals dot map and then I would say what do I want to do to each element like assuming that horse is what I will receive and that will become my item here yeah. item I can say okay I want the same item but wrapped in a lies so I can just wrap it like this and then I do the same on this side and I so I have the same original element, but wrapped in a lies, and that's how you convert it. That's how you make a new array that is animals2. It will be exactly like this one. It will be exactly like that one. But with React, then, this exercise is telling us that we need to modify. Let's read the instructions. It says, update the code map function to generate a new array of allies that each of them corresponds to an element from the original array resulting array should be something like this and include them all together inside the website yeah so the only thing that is missing here is single animal should be here and I think that's pretty much it we, ha we have to put it in in curly brackets because it's it's not single animal literally we want the, the, vo the content of it or the value of it what happens if we test this Let's test it. Maybe we're missing the index. It says that everything is amazing, but still we have a warning that we need to put the key property. So in React, it's recommended that every time you're looping and you're generating a list of things, that you put a key property on, on the HTML tag that it's wrapping every item. In this case, it's the LI. So we gotta put here something unique. and the shortest path to it 
or the shortest way of doing that is by using the second parameter of the map that it's a unique number. It's 0, 1, 2, the index is actually the index of the original array. So it's, it's 0, 1, 2. So because of that, it's unique. It's, it's, we have the guarantee that only there will be only one item with 0, only one item with 1, and one item with 2. So we can just put the i there. And after after doing that, probably we don't have any warnings anymore. Let's test it. Yeah, perfect.